Good morning, Washington. This is Big Dave here on DCR TV. Dave Hughes. This is 1420 WKCW out of the Warrington area. Sounds like they're doing kind of a classic Christmas music. Here's a here's a Christmas tune that sounds like it's from the early '60s or something. So uh, anyhow, I told them to do that. They're doing it. People do what I tell them. <laughs> I said, "Hey, Steve Swenson." You ought to start a newser there on 99.1. Guess what? He's doing it. I said, hey, Bill Hess, move WMAL over to 105.9. They did it. <laughs> uh, I said to w, uh, JFK, you ought to pair Danny and Chad in the afternoons. Well, I haven't done it yet. Yet. <laughs> How you doing, everybody? Uh, I haven't been doing ECRTV the last few days because basically, you know, I don't know. Doing these daily Dave TV things is kind of a grind, and I don't have a lot to talk about some days, so I just say, eh, that's on the website, you know. Um, but anyhow, some interesting stuff today. I was uh, hunting around the internet, and I uh, noticed on uh, Fish Bowel DC, look at this one here, uh, Fish Bowel. Uh, Dirty Dave Hughes, you have zero ground to stand on where attribution is concerned. What Dredge picks up is up to him and not to me. That's Betsy. Nutty Betsy there over at Fishbowl. Uh, you know, so here's what happened yesterday. Um, this big story comes out about eh, a bunch of people in some congressman's office whining and dining and drinking and posting drunken missives on Twitter, okay? And it's a funny story, and Drudge wants, you know, it's obviously a Democrat. If it was a Republican congressman that did it, Drudge wouldn't have anything to do with it. But it's a Democrat, so it's it's fodder for Drudge. So so what Fishbowl does is, Betsy does, is they find somebody that had the scoop on this thing, some website out west somewhere, you know, it covers, it's a Washington state politician. And they take the stuff from that site and just literally run it on their site and then, of course, you know, Betsy, why, you know, they butt kiss Drudge a lot over there. You know, his birthday, you know, whatever, you know, they always mention it, you know, and they have some link there, some Washington Times person who does editing for them and for Drudge. And, you know, obviously they just said, hey, we got it up on our site, put it up. You know, I, you know, there's, I guess, you know, in this day and age of internet, you know, stuff, you know, where people take things and at least Betsy did attribute it where it came from, but... Basically, this poor old site that broke the story doesn't get any traffic, and she does. And, you know, it's kind of a scummy thing to do. I mean, there's nothing illegal about it or plagiarism, but it is kind of scummy. And Betsy's the one. The one thing that, you know, we all do scummy things, I guess, because we're all in this scummy internet. But Betsy's the one who goes around and with her, on her high horse and slams Eric Wemple over there at Washington Post and Harry Jaffe and slams all these other journalists for all their inconsistencies and all their scumminess, too. And you know what? She's just as scummy as everybody else. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to... You know, does anybody... First off, with Fishbowl, does anybody over there actually look at their page? I mean, when you look at this on Microsoft's Internet Explorer, half the, a lot of the stuff doesn't come up right. Look at this. <laughs> half of Vandahy there. It's like... What the, does anybody even look at this? It's a lonely little site, and poor old Betsy's just des desperate for a Dredge link. The problem with the Dredge link is they only go to that one page. You get a bunch of kooky writing comments, and then they all leave, and there's nothing else. They don't go and look at the other blurbs on the site or anything. And eh, I don't know. Crazy, 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 crazy. So what's the deal? Today, Lou, Lou is, Lou was seen at WMAL. Lou! And I saw, somebody said that to me to go, Lou Katz at WMAL? What would Wash's Morning Man be doing over at WMAL? I mean, not Lou Katz, Lou Dickey. Not L-O-O, L-E-W, Lou. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, he's the head of Cumulus. And uh, what apparently there's a lot of rumors that Cumulus is going to be making some big cuts at Cumulus DC, which is WMAL and Hot Adult Contemporary Mix 107.3. And uh, so anyhow, that's the rumors. And they've already made about a dozen cuts. You know, Cumulus took over from Citadel back in September, and they cut a bunch of people. <laughs> Wow. Okay.
Okay, so anyhow, so they, they cut a bunch of people, uh, including Dave Lynn. Oh, Dave! Dave! Poor Dave. Anyhow, uh, and the rumor is they're going to be cutting some more. And on the target, I don't know how many more people they can cut at WMAL because basically the station is down to a skeleton staff, I think, you know? I mean, they only have a morning show and that mid late morning show, and the rest they plug into the satellite for. Uh, you know, so RQX, Mix 1073 is probably where they're going to be doing the cuts. A lot of rumors that they're going to be doing some cuts on Jack Diamond's morning show. It's not out of the question that they could say bye-bye Jack. Uh, I personally don't think they would be dumb enough to do that, but it could happen. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's, there's that Burt show down there in Atlanta on a cumulus station. Burt, Burt, I keep thinking of Burt Convy. Burt is a DC radio vet, and he could be coming back via syndication. And I wouldn't be surprised if they pulled something like that. Uh, you know, but you're going to be hearing more piped-in talent on Mix 1073, I think, regardless. Uh, and it probably will affect the morning, the morning slot to some degree. So we shall see what happens. You know, a lot of times when they do announce these cuts, it's like last thing on a Friday. They'll probably announce them like 7 o'clock on a Friday. So who knows? Um, anyhow, so we shall wait and see if there's any big changes there. As for WMAL, you know, again, I've ranted about WMAL a lot. I do it a lot. Uh... You know, if, if I'm Lou Dickey, I'm going to say, hey, you know, I think Brian Wilson and Brian Neiman are a good pair. I'm not sure about Mary Catherine Hamm. Um, I think what you need to do is this. If you want to keep the morning show intact pretty much the way it is, stop having Brian Wilson shilling for products. It makes him look cheap and tawdry, okay? Just have him be the host or the co-host or whatever you want to do. It. Brian Neiman can do that. You know, he's kind of the second, he always, he's the, the perennial second banana. Okay, have Brian do it. Have your female co-host do it. You know, if Mary Catherine wants to sing about soap, fine. But I think the top dude, if you're going to make Brian Wilson the top guy, and he should be because he's a former Fox Newser, he's a former Channel Fiverr, he's the kind of the guy with the cred. You know, don't have him doing shilling for ads almost every break. It just makes him look it just makes the station look dumb. It makes him look dumb. You know, it's sad. It's sad. Um, or if he does it just once in a blue moon, you know, for the big bucks. The other thing you could do is just yank the damn morning show and pipe in Don Imus. Hey, that might just be the way to go. <laughs> pipe in Don Imus from WABC. Maybe that's the way to go, you know. But anyhow, I'd get rid of Chris Plant. The guy's an idiot. He's just, he's just an idiot. Um... But, uh, you know, reformat the morning show somehow. If you're going to keep Brian and Brian, that's fine. But, you know, if the show isn't really working the way it is. And realize this is a Washington, D.C. market. Yeah, righty, righty talkers may work in Altoona and uh, Peoria. But in this market, you're dealing with a sophisticated audience, even of right-wingers. And you don't want to just do a blatantly right-wing station. You know, mix in the lefty talk and mix it all up. You can lean to the right. You can have your host lean to the right. But you got to make it more intelligent and more all-encompassing. Uh, I mean, if you, if you in any way want to, you know, get decent ratings, you know, even adding the FM station, you just, it's the station isn't really significantly seeing any jolt. And the other thing, as I said before, is you need to bolster that news department, and you need to get some kind of an, a PM drive local show on there. Hannity just doesn't cut it. He's overexposed. He needs to be moved. You know, tape delay him in evenings or something. I don't know. You know, even even bringing in Levin, maybe make Levin the afternoon drive show and make him live and local. You know, that you may put Levin on at five or four thirty-five o'clock instead of the, the evening slot. That you know, and then they could take delay his show for WABC New York. Do something like that, at least so they're live and local. You know, that may be the way to go with that. But I don't know. Uh, I'm tired of talking about MAL. It's, it, it frustrates me. If it was just a stinky bad station, I would say, okay, write it off. It, you know, I hear that they could be a good station. It's like listening to The Edge, 105.9. It's listening to The Globe, 94.7. These stations have potential for being great, and they don't get it. They just don't get it. And MAL, I think MAL could really be a cool station, but they just don't get it. And that's what's frustrating. You listen to this station, you go... God, they just, they, it's like, you know, it's like, there's the target and they're shooting over there. You know, it's like, they don't know what they're doing. 
Good news here real quickly. Jerry Edwards, uh, veteran local traffic reporter who's been all over the place, including a long stint on Channel 4, which ended last summer, is uh, going to be doing local traffic starting December 12th on WAMU. Really good guy there. And uh, we've had a funny mailbag posting today. Someone called Jerry Edwards the new the traffic dean of Washington, and someone wrote in and said, No, it's Bob Marburg! And I'm going, Okay, let's have the grudge match. Let's have a WWE match here. You know, we'll have uh, Jerry Edwards versus Bob Marburg, and we'll have for the news D for the traffic dean crown. I think that'd be cool. All right, folks. Uh, Elvis. You know, what am I? I'm not a great big Elvis fan, but I do like the Sunset Song. 1420 WKCW. Tune it in. Driving down I-66 tonight on your way home. 1420. Cool station. All right, folks. Thanks for watching Dave TV for today. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> uh, that's it. Uh, Friday, uh, the uh, 9th of December, 2011. Have a good one. And uh, what was my tagline? I, what's the point of making up a tagline? Oh, another tip of the iceberg. Tip of the camo cap, which I don't have with me. WJFK. This weekend, their last broadcast from Fairfax, and then they moved to Lanham. Sad that, uh, sad that uh, the Fairfax County, which has a great, the biggest population in the D.C. metro area, doesn't have a single major metro uh, radio station within its boundaries. That's sad. That's sad. And, uh, you know, I wish nothing but ill will on WJFK uh, from now on. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Just kidding, folks. Have a good one. So there!